that we don't have the votes right now. So it's not something that I'm thinking about because I just know I know the votes on this issue pretty well from doing TPA and we don't have the votes. And they quite frankly, I think they've got to fix this. this they got to fix it and they haven't done that. All right. Uh, obviously, uh, Speaker Paul Ryan bemoaning the fact that uh, something he wanted to see done uh, this year, uh, as well as the President of the United States, uh, one of the few subjects in which they both agree, uh, it isn't going to happen. That in this political environment, the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership, TPP, as it tends to be known, is not going to happen. Uh, and it doesn't help matters any that the two premier candidates are not big fans of it either. So that puts the speaker at odds with his own presidential candidate. And, of course, uh, the president at odds with the woman who wants to succeed him. To the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, CEO, Tom Donahue, on, on what happens now. Tom, good to have you. Well, it's good to see you and welcome back. Thank you, Tom, um, very much. And thank you for your very nice note. Oh, well, fine. Uh, look, I like that. Well, what? fine. Let's move on. I'm not a warm and fuzzy guy. There you go. I was very glad to it's say that. It's okay. I, I was going to hug you, but it's okay. Let's yeah. move on. Well, right. when we see each other. Sure. Look, here is, here's the deal. What the Speaker of the House said, he's not going to bring it up for a vote now because the things that need to be fixed have yet to been fi be fixed. The fact is they've just about taken care of everything on the capital market side. They are, uh, they've got a real issue on the pharmaceutical side, and I believe that uh, Senator Hatch and the White House and we're involved and others, that we're very close to getting a resolution there. Uh, and if you really think and look at this, this agreement, it's the first agreement in modern time that all of the agricultural people in the U.S. are in favor of. Yeah, but you know, it's it could be perfect, Tom, don't you think? I think it could be perfect in this political environment. It is not going to happen. I guess what I'm asking you now is what's going to happen next year, or is it, you know, just dead and we start from scratch? What? Well, I'm look. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen. Just for the reasons I began to talk about, which are the many, many people and groups that support it, and second, uh, depending on how the presidential election and everything goes out, there may well be a chance if we take care of these problems to get a vote uh, in the lame duck session. And if I were Hillary or Clinton and, and she were president, I'd want it to happen in a lame duck session. If I were Mr. Trump, I might feel the same way. So I accept what the speaker and what the majority leader have said. And meanwhile, we're working on trying to get a vote on it. All right, but time's a waste, and like you say, a lame duck session would probably be your only chance, assuming that doesn't happen, though, because um, it, it, it would even be uphill there. Uh, what do they do, Tom? Do they start from scratch? Do our foreign partners, or do those abroad, just uh, cobble together their own deal? What? Well, I think there are three things to look at. First of all, the five or six countries that run along the China rim are going to be very, very likely to begin to look to China for their economic relationships, which then, of course, begins to include geopolitical relationships. The second thing, there is no way in my judgment that either candidate who then becomes president is going to be able to move the economy out of the, the, the malaise that it's in now and start to get the kind of economic growth that gets us moving again, which, by the way, they need to get reelected themselves if we don't deal uh, now or very soon after with this uh, arrangement. And number three, there are people and, and leaders of governments all over the world watching this process. And if we're not very, very careful, they're going to believe that we're not dependable and they ought to look to others for their leadership. Thomas, great seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you.